Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Dave. We're back with our next reading of the Old Testament. If you've been following along, you know that we are in the book of Deuteronomy. Um, I cannot find my favorite New King James Version Bible. Um, don't know what I did with it. I thought I had it here in the Armada, but I don't. Um, Anyways, uh, so I just grabbed a uh, Bible off the shelf today, so we will be reading out of the English Standard Version today, um, and we'll be in chapter 13 of the book of Deuteronomy. This is a very short chapter, only 18 verses, um, and it looks like it continues the topic from verse 12 of warning against idolatry that we covered a few days ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm fighting some sort of little head cold, but... Alright, there we go. Um, car was beeping. Alright, so remember, if you don't have a Bible, you can go to Bible.com. You can read for free. You can also download the Version app on any Android or iOS device that I'm aware of. Um, so, take advantage of that. Um, there's also a, a lot of other cool Bible apps that are available to you as well. So, Alright, <clears throat> let's get going. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or wonder that he tells you comes to pass, and if he says, Let us go after other gods which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice, and you shall serve him and hold fast to him. But that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death, because he has taught rebellion against the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of slavery to make you leave in the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall purge the evil from your midst." If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son or daughter, or the wife of you, or the wife you embrace, or your friend who is as your own soul entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, some of the gods of the people who are around you, whether near you or from far off from you, from the one end of the earth to the other, you shall not yield to him or listen to him, nor shall you pity him nor shall your eye pity him, nor shall you spare him, nor shall you conceal him, but you shall kill him. Your hand shall be first among against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he has sought to draw you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. And all Israel shall hear and fear, and never, go, never again do any wick, such wickedness among you. If you hear in one of your cities which the Lord your God has given you to dwell there that certain worthless fellows have gone out among you and have drawn away the inhabitants of their cities, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, then you shall inquire and make search and ask diligently. And behold, if it be true and certain that such an abomination has been done among you, you shall surely put the inhabitants of that city to the sword, devoting it to destruction, all who are in it and its cattle with the edge of the sword. You shall gather all its spoil into the midst of its open square and burn the city and all its spoils of fire as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God. It shall be a heap forever. It shall not be built again. None of the devoted things shall stick to your hands, and the Lord, that the Lord your God may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion on you and multiply you as he swore to your fathers. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, keeping all his commandments that I am commanding you today and doing what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. But remember, everyone, he's a God of love. It's all love. Just love. I think a lot of you have forgotten that God is a vengeful God. He's a jealous God. He is the God. And yet here we go around just letting all these other false gods, false religions into our lives. Talks in the Bible to not be unequally yoked. 
So if you're thinking about yoking with someone who isn't a Christian, well, I want to put that behind you. Just saying, it's not my words, it's God's words. I want to listen to this one again. It's a short one, so you might want to listen again if you're struggling with that. All right. Hey, I love you all. Happy Friday. I hope you all have an amazing uh, week. As you can see in the window here, it's very, very, very foggy here in Central Texas. So it's quite an interesting drive in today. All right. I hope you all have a great day from Central Texas, as always, and always. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen or not.